a very warm welcome to you. Thank you so much for joining us in this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to show Shopify estimated delivery date on your product page. So here I'm already logged in on my Shopify store. So what you do is you simply come to online store, you click on online store, and then you click on themes. And this will take you to your default theme. And this process will work on any theme. So you notice I have the don theme and I have a copy of the same don theme. It's advisable that you always duplicate your theme so that in case you make changes that you feel you cannot reverse them, you will have a copy of the default theme. So here you can click just on duplicate to get a copy of the duplicate theme that you have. Next now, you now click on customize so that now you are able to customize that theme. Then this is my Shopify store and there's a different tutorial on how I created all this and you're so much welcome to come and watch that. So at the top here, you notice we have the home page. just click on that so that you can now select the products page. So if you don't have any product, you can create a template, but if you already have a product, which I do, you simply click on default product and we have other tutorials in this YouTube channel to show you how to add products. So here, we have this product that I had already added with these images and, and in that tutorial available in this YouTube channel, you'll be able to know how we created this so you can also watch that. So now, so this is our product, luxury women wear, the price and all that. Then now we want to just add the estimated delivery date on our product here. You notice, you notice currently we don't have it. So you simply come down on your product and then you click on add block so that you can now add a block on this product here. You notice we have the block for text, we have the block for price, the block for quantity, that is the quantity selector. We have the block for the buy button and the add to cart. So you are just going to add a new block there. So you click on add block and then the next thing you select is custom liquid. Here, you click on custom liquid. And now you can click on the custom liquid so that now you can add it here. So here, this is where you're going to paste your custom liquid. Now you don't have to worry about that. It's available in the description of this video, but this is how the custom liquid looks like. So you're going to just copy that and then you will paste it there. And now you notice after that, down here, see what has happened. Get it between, then you have the date added there. So let's delete that first. Delete. So that you see the difference. So after deleting it, you notice we only have the share part here. So let's just paste the code again there. So we paste it there. You notice we will now have get it between here. So now if we click on save, let us first click on save. And the, after saving now you notice we have get it between Thursday February 1st to Tuesday, February 6th. So we have successfully added the Shopify estimated delivery date. If you want to change the number of days here, you will simply go to your code and you notice here we have five days. So you can now change this day. Maybe you can now add that to be six or seven or eight, whichever the number of days, but you can also do it directly here on your Shopify. You notice here we have days. So for instance, we have here 6 February. So let's change this instead of five, we add seven, so that we see what will happen to our 6 February, then click on save. We see how 6 February will be affected. Change is saved. So you notice now Thursday has changed to Thursday. So Tuesday has now changed to Thursday 8th. And that is simply how you add that. Then you can also drag it, maybe if you want it to appear at the top here, so let's click back. You now notice we have our custom liquid here. So it's below the buy button. It's actually even below the share button. You can simply drag it and put it maybe at the top there. So you now notice where it appears. You notice now it appears above the share button. If we drag it further at the top there, to be on top there, then we click on save. 
you now notice where it appears. It appears directly below the quantity selector here. So that is the first way you can edit that. And now if we go back, the second way to add estimated delivery date is simply to use what we call apps. To use the apps, you simply come down to your Shopify store and then I recommend several apps here. So you can simply click on that and then come here to all recommended apps. So you can come to apps, click on apps. No, and then you click on Shopify app store. And then you can now search for the apps here. So the first app I would recommend is called estimated delivery date plus. So you type that at the top there. And you notice this one here, estimated delivery date plus is absolutely free. It has the free plan. And even these others, a few others also have the free plan. For instance, if we just look at that, you'll notice that you can show estimated arrival dates on the product cart or checkout. You can also store with clear delivery expectations, promote building consumer trust, promote building consumer trust and sales conversion rate. So that's one app you can use. You can also use another app called Omega Estimated Shipping. So you simply come at the top here and simply type Omega here and type Omega estimated delivery date. So it works the same way, just like the estimated delivery date plus. So you notice with this one again, you can also track your order. You show estimated delivery date. And of course, these other things. So those are the ways that you can use to basically add estimated delivery date on your Shopify store, both using the code and of course, using the apps. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.